Nikki Wallen spent all of Sunday with her best friend of 20 years. Sunday, when she walked out my front door, took her heels off that were hurting her feet that are still by my front door, um, I never heard from her again. On Monday, she didn't show up for school or work. Kathleen Moore was your friendly neighborhood girl. She had a great deal of compassion and always went above and beyond to care for and assist people. Kathleen's caring, forgiving nature would unfortunately open the door for evil that would claim her young, promising life. Welcome to Viral Crimes. Subscribe and hit the notification bell for more stories. Kathleen was training to become a nurse while also working as a bartender. Kathleen's goal in life was to help others, but that plan was cruelly derailed for her. Kathleen and Nicole Wallen, her closest friend, were having a great time on November 28, 2021. They were later joined by Colin Knapp, Kathleen's on-again off-again boyfriend. Nicole said that, while Colin and Kathleen quarreled a little that night, they eventually departed together at around 11 o'clock. Since Kathleen's vehicle was at Nicole's house, Kathleen agreed to pick it up the following day. Colin and Kathleen arrived at Colin's residence in Newport Ritchie just after midnight. They were both intoxicated. The two argued over what to eat en route. Kathleen desired to stop at McDonald's, but Colin believed he was too intoxicated to drive. Kathleen reportedly collected her bags and walked out as the confrontation became out of hand. And Colin was unaware of her whereabouts. Or even the direction in which she traveled. He spent the night inside his home playing video games. He just expected that Kathleen would reach her residence eventually. Therefore, he did not bother texting, contacting, or monitoring her whereabouts. The next morning, Nicole learned that Kathleen had not yet picked up her vehicle. She was instantly alarmed, since Kathleen was not the kind of person to alter her plans without notifying others. In addition to this, it seemed that she had not posted anything on any of her social media accounts, which was a major warning sign. Kathleen's absence from her bartending jobs caused more concern. She was a reliable employee and was always on time. She never took unannounced time off from work. Kathleen's parents filed a missing person report on November 30th, and the police promptly began their search. The cops began interviewing each and every one who was familiar with Kathleen. They found out that Kathleen's relationship with Colin was strained because he constantly accused her of becoming someone she was not. She believed that she deserved a more worthy man. While police were trying to locate Kathleen, Kathleen's relatives and friends did not want to waste their time by doing nothing. Where is Kathleen Moore? The search continues in Pasco County to find this woman who vanished last Monday. Today, Moore's close friends hit the Newport Ritchie streets to look for her. Olivia Steen trailed along during that search. Kathleen Moore's close friends spent the day putting out these flyers, and they also even held their own search in this wooded area just a couple of blocks from where she was last seen. I'm told the effort will not stop until she's found. Please come out here, do the legwork, not just spread her name through the media. Let's get out here and find her. It's seven days. Looking for a sign or any little clue. They took everything except for the black rope. We're just trying to find her. We've had no answers. Um, I'm out searching the woods because I just want her home. Kathleen Moore's close friends comb through trash and debris. Could they be hers? Could they? In this wooded area on Seven Springs Boulevard Sunday afternoon, less than a mile from her last sighting. All kinds of stuff. Jessica Brummett says Moore is like a sister to her. And she's willing to do anything to find out where she could be. I'm keeping faith that she's still alive, and I hope that everyone else does too and keeps spreading her story. Her life matters. Just because she's not an influencer doesn't mean that she doesn't matter. Just because she's not a politic does not mean that she doesn't matter. They repeatedly attempted to contact her by phone and also left her voicemails and text messages. And at that point, one of Kathleen's acquaintances made contact with a guy who was living on the streets. This homeless guy had discovered Kathleen's phone behind a Walgreens in Newport Ritchie, Florida, in one of the dumpsters. When the guy turned it back on after it had been turned off by someone else, he immediately got a call from Kathleen's friend. At that moment, everyone was aware that Kathleen had been the victim of some kind of incident and that her phone had been purposefully thrown away by someone. This Walgreens location lacked security cameras. Therefore, the authorities could not utilize it to get more information. The cops continued their investigation, which eventually led them to Colin. The Pasco County Sheriff's Office spent time last week collecting evidence from Moore's boyfriend's house here on Carmel Avenue. Friends say she made a final FaceTime call from there around 1 a.m. Monday morning, saying she was waiting for an Uber. 
No one has heard from her since. Colin was really accommodating. He let the officers inside his home and responded to all of their requests. After entering Colin's home, cops detected a strong chemical odor. It was so overwhelming that the cops were compelled to question him about it. Colin nonchalantly said to them that his dog shed a lot and in order to keep the house clean, he had to resort to using strong chemicals. The cops were skeptical. They began searching for CCTV cameras near Colin's residence and discovered some suspicious footage. The police obtained a search warrant for the dumpster behind which Colin parked his vehicle on December 2, 2021. The cops collected a few suspicious black bags, yet the most of the trash was food from the eatery Colin worked for. It ended up being the crucial piece of information that they need. The contents inside the black bags included a blood-soaked comforter, bed sheet, and mattress cover. A pair of work boots, a gray t-shirt, and blood-stained cargo pants were also discovered by the police. They also found Kathleen's vehicle keys, blue sweatshirt, and credit card. Detectives decided to bring Colin into the police station for questioning. Colin was agitated as the police laid forth the accumulating evidence they had against him. He walked out after claiming that the cops had set him up. However, Colin's whereabouts could be followed since the police already obtained authorization to install a GPS tracker on his vehicle. Forensic investigation established that Kathleen's blood was on the mattress and clothes. Although the police were very certain that Colin murdered Kathleen, they were still unsure of the circumstances or the location of Kathleen. To find out more, they turned to Kathleen's friends once again. When Kathleen's friends spoke with police, they said that Colin was always belligerent when he was intoxicated. He became quite aggressive and would often become abusive with Kathleen. In addition, Colin was found to have a significant criminal history. He had charges that consisted of illegal drug possession, reckless driving and aggravated domestic battery. Once the police were aware of this, they were certain that they had sufficient evidence to arrest Colin. Colin was arrested and charged with second-degree murder for the murder of Kathleen Moore. What happened to Kathleen Moore? It is a question that is yet to be answered, but tonight, her boyfriend is behind bars, accused of murder. This is Nightside. I'm Carolina Lead. Colin Knapp was arrested this afternoon on second-degree murder charges. This after Kathleen went missing more than a week ago. 10 Tampa Bay's Angelina Salcedo is near the Walgreens where her phone was found in a dumpster. Angelina, investigators have pieced together a timeline of her disappearance. Carolina, this 7-Eleven, one of the last locations Colin Knapp says he was with Kathleen in the early morning of November 29th. Her phone found days later in a dumpster across the street at the Walgreens tonight. Colin Knapp is charged with her murder after the Pasco County Sheriff's Office says that they executed a search warrant for second degree homicide. Sheriff Chris Nako spoke a few hours ago highlighting the rest of the charges that are on his record to show really how dangerous he actually is. You're seeing those on your screen right now. He had 10 previous felony arrests and nine misdemeanor arrests since 2004. Some included aggravated assault and aggravated violence, but Kathleen wasn't involved. Her friends told the sheriff's office they were known to argue and fight. Tonight, though, they just want to know where Kathleen is and why this happened. As candles burn, Kathleen Moore's friends search for answers. Her manager at the Whiskey Wings devastated by her loss, now hoping her accused murderer, Colin Knapp, will help find her. That Colin tells us where she's at so that we can bring her home in peace and give her seats. She deserves that. She doesn't deserve wherever she's at right now. He deserves to be home and be at peace tonight. But our, our thoughts and prayers are with the family and friends of Kathleen Moore. Pasco County Sheriff Chris Nako says Kathleen went missing early November 29th, but they're not sure when or where. There was multiple things that he said during his first statement of us that we found inconsistent that made us very suspicious of, of her whereabouts. Evidence uncovered through their investigation shows Knapp had brought clothes with him to work and threw them in a dumpster. Those clothes led to his arrest after stains of Kathleen's blood were found. We wish that Colin would provide us the information of where Kathleen is. And we delayed this press conference a little bit because we just arrested him this afternoon. We were hoping he was going to provide information during his interview. As one of our detectives described, he was very cold. Even when we were begging with him to tell us where her body is, 
He wouldn't give us that information. While the police made every effort to speak with Colin, they also begged the public to come forward with any information. As a result, on December 6, 2021, Kathleen's remains were found. But we start with breaking news after a body of a missing woman was finally found today. Our Eric Waxler has the very latest from Newport Ritchie. Someone walking near the home of Kathleen Moore's boyfriend, Colin Knapp, here in Newport Ritchie, spotted a body in a wooded area near the home earlier today. And then late this afternoon, the Pasco Sheriff's Office confirmed that body is Kathleen Moore. Colin Knapp was Moore's boyfriend. His home in Newport Ritchie is one of the places deputies have been focused on since last week. He was arrested yesterday and charged with second-degree murder after deputies say they found his clothes covered in Moore's blood in a dumpster at the restaurant where he worked. Moore was last seen with him on November 29th getting into his Cadillac, which we found this morning still parked at that restaurant. Today, Knapp had his first appearance in court. A judge ordered no bond. Meanwhile, Moore's friends waited out here all day long just trying to find out what happened. We're just going to keep her memory alive. I mean, both of our kids no. look at her as an aunt, you know, like our kids are upset about it. We're just going to keep her alive. Maybe her life, her sacrifice that she went through is to save somebody else. And if this is save you because you're in a horrible domestic violence, violence relationship, get out of it. Colin Knapp maintains his innocence and is currently being held without bond. My condolences to the family and friends of Kathleen Moore. She seemed like such a bright light whose life was ended way too soon. If you or a loved one is the victim of domestic violence, there is help. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.